Harry and Meghan to christen Lilibet tomorrow at Windsor with the Queen, expert claims. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will christen their daughter, Lilibet, tomorrow on her birthday in the presence of the Queen, according to former BBC royal correspondent Michael Cole. Former BBC royal correspondent Michael Cole has predicted that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will have their daughter Lilibet christened tomorrow. Lilibet, who turns one tomorrow, is currently in the UK alongside her three-year-old brother Archie. The pair have reportedly already met with the Queen, marking the first time Lilibet met her namesake. Sources claim the meeting happened yesterday after trooping the colour, when the Queen invited Harry and Meghan to a private lunch at Windsor. Speaking to GB News earlier today, Mr. Cole predicted that Meghan and Harry will christen Lilibet in Windsor this weekend. He explained, Tomorrow is their little baby, Lilibet's first birthday. I haven't seen this reported anywhere so let me make this prediction. It would seem sensible to me that during this weekend, the child be christened at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. Mr. Cole continued, It would make sense. They won't be back here from their hilltop fortress in California very often. They were married there. Archie, the three-year-old, was christened there. And Lilibet hasn't been christened yet. It could be a small ceremony. You have the Dean of Windsor, and it would just be family members. Maybe that will be another opportunity for reconciliation. The Queen is a great believer in God. The Queen could join the christening ceremony tomorrow in place of the Epsom Derby. Earlier today, Omid Scobie, a close friend of Meghan, said that the birthday party would be private, with no photos released to the media. He told BBC Breakfast, those moments with Lilibet are very much private between them and the Queen. I spoke with people close to the couple who said that they want to be as low profile as possible during this trip. It's almost hard to believe, but I think yesterday trooping the colour was a great example. We didn't really catch sight of them on TV cameras. Earlier today, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their first public appearance in the UK in two years at the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral. While other royals went from St. Paul's to a reception at Guild Hall in London, hosted by the Lord Mayor of London, the Queen remains resting at Windsor while Harry and Meghan are not due to attend. Crowds outside of St. Paul could be heard offering a polite round of cheers for Harry and Meghan as they enter the cathedral. The Queen pulled out of the event after she began to feel some discomfort at Thursday's trooping the colour ceremony. In recent months, she has been struggling with what the palace calls mobility issues and has missed a number of engagements. <laughs>
reception at Guildhall in London, hosted by the Lord Mayor of London. The Queen remains resting at Windsor while Harry and Meghan are not due to attend. Crowds outside of St. Paul could be heard offering a polite round of cheers for Harry and Meghan as they enter the cathedral. The Queen pulled out of the event after she began to feel some discomfort at Thursday's Troop in the Colour Ceremony. In recent months, she has been struggling with what the palace calls mobility issues and has missed a number of engagements.